the benefits of Pelia moss and Java moss. So on the left, you see some Pelia moss. They have broader leaves and they are an amazing moss to have. And the Java moss is super popular. Popular. It's uh, on the right. Um, they are super useful to provide cover for young fry, as well as providing newborns with some food. So they have microscopic creatures that will live in there. So when the newborns arrive, they can have a snack bar. This now we're getting more into the Java here. And I place it around the intake of the old style filter and it works marvelously. So it prevents uh, the fry from getting sucked up. And it also takes a lot of the garbage out of the water and it cleans up basically to, to use very simple uh, terminology, it, uh, it cleans up your water. It transforms the bad stuff in the water and it will uh, transform it into uh, food for itself. So it eats the bad and it helps the ecosystem of the tank to, uh, to be balanced. So, the more plants you have, the better. However, uh, you don't want to have too much as to uh, not allow your fish to swim around, so. And I never had to tie it or anything. It just latches on to the driftwood. Driftwood is also a good thing to have. It puts tannins in the water, and the tannins are a natural antibiotic and anti, uh, kind of anti everything. So, very good thing to have. So the ones that look stringy, that's the java, and the ones that look leafy, that's the pelia. Oh, and um, this here, that would be guppy grass. And uh, that one, I'm not sure what it's called. I would have to put it in the comments below once I find out what that is. Actually, why don't you help me out? Let me know what's the name of that one. I've had it forever. I just forget what it's called. <laughs> 